Hello friends, this is the Robin's Nest by Terry. Today we we're participating in the 12 days of Christmas. Our host is the Rustic and Lace DIY and Molly Cole Creates. Please check out their channel and the link to the 12 days of Christmas playlist will be in the description box and in the comments so you can find other fun Christmas DIYs to watch. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I hope you enjoy. Computer desk area where we put the grid wall around the desk. I love the wood look. I'm so glad my husband's like, because I've been in the all white mood of everything. And he's like, do you want me to paint this or stain it? And I'm like, oh, we're going to paint it white. And then I thought, oh, let's just stain it, see what it looks like. And then if I don't like the stain, then you can um, paint it. Move you again. So I really like it stained. So while I was at the craft show, I saw a friend that I used to wholesale to back in the day, Julie, and she set up at the mall and I'm like, why aren't you on virtual home decor marketplace? And she said, wow, I was just thinking about that as I was doing all this setup. So I think she's going to join us on the marketplace. It's like, man, it took me four or five hours yesterday. I still don't like my angle. So I'm going to move you again. Sorry. Maybe if I just tilted my phone, maybe that would work better. Hold on. There we go. Much better angle. Yay. Um... <laughs> that don't happen very often, Mary Lynn. It don't happen very often. It's just like, it's getting cold. Now let's rush and get all these projects done. I want to get done. This piece of wood has been sitting in the garage for probably three or four months. It's getting cold. And he has to keep his motorcycle and the golf cart in the garage. And it was in his way. That is how we got this. <laughs> you ever notice when it's something they need, how they get on it really fast? So he needed to put everything up for the winter. And he's like, that big board's sitting in my way. And I'm like, well, then I guess we get it cut up. So that's what happened. It wasn't for any other reason but to make room for his stuff for the winter. <clears throat> And then I have him out there spray painting things white and black so that um, I don't have to base coat everything. Yeah, gin I was going to say pumpkin spice. It's not pumpkin spice, is it? Ginger, ginger waffles, something like that. <clears throat> Shelly, you like gingerbread men? I do too. <laughs> Somehow, I always tell everybody to be on time and stuff, and I am the absolute worst. It's like everybody follows. They're all so... Everybody on the marketplace is so... So what I'm not, I am so not organized. I'm so, people tell me I talk too much, <laughs> when I'm, especially when I'm trying to sell. Um, but they're really good at what they do. And I'm just over here just winging it, which is the only way I can do things. 
is just wing it and somehow it works and I love coming on and talking to you guys because I work better when I talk. I kind of have to talk everything through. Cute, cute, cute. He, he's starting to remind me of a, what, Keebler fudge stripes. Okay. So every event at the last minute, I'm saying, and I'm going to do this, and this, and this, and and trying to describe what it's going to look like. Okay. I'm going to highlight that just a little bit. I'm trying to get ready for a live sale and it ain't working out too good. I'm putting way too much time in my pieces and I don't think I'll have enough to do it. <coughs> okay. okay. Lighten it up a little bit. So we put the next Crossover on there. Okay, those are gonna dry. Let's. Okay, let that dry up. Let's go back to our waffle cookies. the other way with them. Don't even want to look at the clock. cookies going on. <laughs> there you go. Gingerbread waffles. <clears throat> Somebody gave me that idea last night when I was showing my project and what I was going to do with it. And I was like, I really want to give them a face, but they don't come out of the toaster with icing on them. But we're going to pretend. Got 15 minutes. I can do it. Oh, looking so cute. All right. <clears throat> Let's put some frosting on these guys. Seven minutes. At least I'll do one. That way you can see what they're going to look like. And then do this one because I got too much water on my brush. That one might run. I might have to do it over. Reminds me of a toaster strudel. I don't even know if they even make those things anymore.
And then this will be sprayed with an outdoor sealer and it will make them very shiny. I love the shiny look. And we're just going to make these look more like cookies. So we're just going to put icing on them. Before I put that mouth on though, I want to use the same brush over here on the toaster. To use them. So I'm going to take these out. I'm going to finish it up. But these worked out perfectly. I do have to go through and paint the back of them, but I wanted them to look like waffle, gingerbread waffles, as you can see here. So I've still got to put something in the heart. I haven't decided what I want to put in there yet. And we're just going to finish these gingerbread waffles and get them sprayed and sealed so they're nice and shiny and this will be shiny and so I kept all the green is the original vintage and the poor lady that sold me this was about to have she wasn't too happy when she found out I was going to paint on it I don't know why they never I don't know why they you know people who collect the antiques do not like it when they know that I'm touching something and they think it's ruining it but it just added to it because you can still see the original on the other side I've never saw maybe I've seen them but I've never painted a little one like this so it worked out perfectly they are adorable Because, you know, they're kind of like those Eggo waffles. When I was thinking about it, I'm like, nobody makes gingerbread waffles. But I'm going to move my camera here just a moment so I can give you a good angle. 